there was only the Honourable Lady who proposed in that debate and only the Minister um, who responded. And of course, um, the, on, the Honourable Member who moved the motion. Yes, that's Michael Tomlinson losing it after Labour MP Neil Coyle really showed him how incredibly ridiculous this Rwanda bill really is. But before we do that, we need to start from the point where Shadow Home Secretary asked him to give way because Yvette Cooper had an interesting question to ask. Yes, they thank you. Uh, thank the Minister for giving way. Just to relevant to the previous amendment that he referred to about the facts that Parliament should be given, could he confirm the reports that were in the paper that the Home Office is now seeking to pay people to go to Rwanda in order to fill the flights? And could he confirm that if people do uh, take up that Home Office proposal, they will be subject to exactly the same payments to the Rwandan government, the very substantial uh, payments to the Rwandan government, and will it also be covered by the uh, capacity uh, questions in the treaty? Um, well, well, Mr Speaker, that's not directly relevant to uh, Amendment 8, respectfully. The answer in terms of um, voluntary removals is that, yes, it's in exactly the same way. There were voluntary removals, 19,000 last year, voluntary removals all the way back um, since the dawn of time or possibly more. There is nothing new. The novel part, if you like, if the Honourable Lady would care to listen, the, the, the novel part um, is that there will be voluntary removals to Rwanda. That is absolutely right, specifically in relation to Amendment Eight, it is not necessary to report the number of removals to Parliament, and we do not consider um, obligations to report to Parliament um, to, to be appropriate. Um, I'm going to continue. I bet you don't want to give way again, do you? <laughs> I noticed he didn't answer the question as well, did he either? But anyway... Not long after he'd continued spouting on about how wonderful Rwanda is and this bill is marvellous, Labour MP Neil Coyle had a very interesting take on the cost of this wretched bill. I thank the Minister for giving way uh, because he did seem to try and brush over some of the costs involved. And is the Minister aware that Virgin Galactic can send six people into space for less than this government wants to spend sending one person to Rwanda? Is it not time to rethink this absurd policy and extortion at cost? <laughs> Uh, di directly in terms of costs, we had a debate on Thursday um, on the costs of the scheme, and uh, Mr. Speaker, not a single Labour backbencher was there for that debate. There was only the Honourable Lady who proposed that debate, and only the Minister um, who responded. And of course, um, the, on the Honourable Member who moved the motion, who I don't treat as an ordinary backbencher because she's the chair of the Select Committee. It was her debate. Not a single other Labour backbencher was there. That shows the priority or the lack of priority which those opposite give to that. Dame Dana Johnson's face was a picture, wasn't it? <laughs> she didn't look too impressed, did she? Maybe we should get Virgin Galactica to run the Home Office. They seem to know what they're doing, don't they? <laughs> but anyway, here's a bit of a bonus for you. Now, while Stephen Kinnock was going through the amendments, he was asked to give way by one of the swivel-eyed loons, Sir Bill Cash, where he prattled on about procedure this and legislation that and whatever. Well, Stephen Kinnock basically talked about the Supreme Court and their decision. Well, Sir Bill asked him to give way again, and which he duly did, and then practically prattled on again about the same thing. Well, Stephen Kinnock's reply just sums up how ridiculous this whole thing is. Well, I thank him for his intervention, but the, the, at the end of the day, you cannot legislate to, make, to turn dogs into cats. You cannot legislate for the sky to be green and the grass to be blue. And it is a basic tenet of the respect with which our institutions should be treated that to put this kind of absurd legislation before us is frankly turning our institutions into a laughing stock. So I, I would uh, respectfully suggest that uh, the Honourable Gentleman keeps that in mind. Yeah, absolutely. So what you're saying is that Rwanda isn't safe to send refugees? How dare you? We will just create a bill that says that Rwanda is safe, so there. 
But then that Neil Coyle line, it did make me chuckle, made me laugh. And, and it just utterly highlights the ridiculousness of this man that's done it. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think Virgin Galactica should take over the Home Office? Let me know down below and I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends. <laughs>